Hello and welcome to the Gage Lucan. Here we are with Battle Brothers with our band of the Long Axes. This is a game that many of you will have seen, many of you will have played, and it's a great game to make a series on. We're going to role play this a little bit, so the characters are going to mean a lot to us. We've only got in Veteran because I am no expert by A's on Iron Man mode, so this could end abruptly or it could go well. Let us make a start. The last battle. It all went wrong. Two days ago, the company was hired to track down Hoggart the Weasel and his band of raiders. But it was then who found you first. An ambush! Some joke about horses, cut short by an arrow to the throat. Arrow shooting in from everywhere and nowhere. Men holler and scream, a great volume before death. As the hail subsides, you draw your weapon with the rest of the men, only to collapse to your knees. An arrow has punctured your side. You shout in pain. A harried glance sees the men charge with you, without you to make a valiant last stand. Met in force as steel clashes with steel. You meet eyes with the captain. A last nod before his throat is cut. You're left in command now. Of what few men remain, trembling in pain, you lean on your sword. And with all the will you can muster, slowly rise again. To the end. Uh, I don't know who my characters are yet, though, so... Okay, my go. We've got old Wendell here. Come on, son. Okay, let's reload. Okay, buddy. Let's move you forward. What have we got? It's been a while since I've played this. Round swing has a... 46% chance to hit. Nice! Let's have a look at this. How much do we need this shield wall? Ah, oh, that's not what I meant to do. Okay. Oh, he missed. He missed, thank God. Okay, he's running away. It's just you left, bud. No, we're gonna hit our own guy there. Still? Okay, we're still gonna risk. Nice! Good shot. Okay, unfortunately, we don't have a chance here. Thrust! Another one. Let's take this brigand out. Come on, Berthold. Still fighting, he is missing though. There's no way we're gonna get that shot in. Let's kill him, Bertwin. Okay, so that was actually decent. Need to take everything and leave. That was the bloody remnants of a battle. You're alive, you won. The adrenaline fades and it's in the wake. You can't help but sink back to the ground. Gritting your teeth, you snap the arrow's shaft. Your chest heaves. You pain for breath and everything blurs. The company has been devastated, cut down to a few men. And that bastard Hoggart did justice to his name, fleeing like the weasel he is. What now, Captain? A voice says from behind. It's Bertwin, who sits down beside you. Bedding his bloody axe on his legs, you turn to him to pull eye. But before you can answer, he continues. Bernhard stared. He slit his throat. He was a good man, and a damn good leader. But it all took was one mistake. This makes you in charge now, don't it? Wendell joins the two of you, still breathing heavily, then Berthold. Save the ceremony and appointments for another day. Let's give the men a good burial and return to Suntime to collect our pay. These weasel's men are slain after all. Besides, Captain, we ought to see that wound before we lose you too. Wouldn't want to leave Wendell in charge, right? Ha ha ha. Okay, so let's have a little check. Am I... I'm confused. Am I Berthold? I think I am. Okay, let's see the shield. 16 out of 16. Oh, that's better. Spear, hatchet. Cutter's axe. We've got nothing here. Okay, let us carry on 
Let me just put the sound down just a little bit. Just a little loud. There we go. Okay, let's go collect our pain. Pain? Our pay, sure. So we're the band of the long axes. Hence the banner with long axes. What a sorry display it must be for the onlookers as you arrive in soon time. Four bloodied and beaten mercenaries down on their luck. The man who hired the company days ago, Casper the Steward, no doubt expected to return in a more glorious fashion. Still, he welcomes you to his house and offers bread and wine while a servant fetches a healer. Few words are exchanged except for the occasional grunt and wheeze as an elderly man with shaky hands tends your wounds. A pin pierces your skin, the first of many stitches to come. You grit your teeth till you think you hear one break. Casper the steward sits beside you and asks if you took care of Hoggard. You shake your head. We killed his men, but the weasel eluded our blades at the end. The healer waves around a glowing fire poke, suggesting he wants you to push it into your wound. You nod and he does so. For a moment, that's all there is. You're not a man, but a pinch of fire. Flesh from flame, a golem of pain. Casper the steward hard you a goblet of wine. You did well, Selsord. The brigands have been removed, though it is a shame that Hoggard still lives. We expect to get paid for this. Well, naturally, 400 crowns is agreed upon. He gestures towards a servant who rushes to his side. I wonder, may I make use of your services one more time? I'd very much like to end the headache that Hoggard once and for all, and I would pay you again, of course, another 400 crowns. Bertrand scoffs and turns to drink more wine, but Berthold stands to speak. Yes, the company is in ruin. In, is in ruin, but we will rebuild it. Without the long axes, Bertwin would drink the crowns away and end up begging on the streets in Wendell. By the gods, we all know he'd be good chasing the womenfolk until she stove his head, rotted head in. We need the long axes, it's all we have. What you say, a captain? Bertwin burps and raises his cups. Wendell playfully Lou thumbs his nose and nods. Kill that bastard or hoggard or not, it's up to you. Yes. Excellent, my little birds will need some time to find out where Hoggart is hiding. In the meantime, I suggest you see about stocking up on supplies so that we be good and ready to the end when the time comes. I shall see you in a few days' time at the latest. As you leave Casper the steward's house and stand on the outcuts of Soddingheim, Bertold seeks a word with you. We need more men, Captain. I know I gave a big speech back there, but Bravado won't do shite. We need more warm bodies in the ranks. Figure if we find three good men buy them some decent weapons and dress them in the best armour we can afford. The man pauses to glance around. I bet this Badunk town's got a desperate peasant or two looking for a new life, or we could travel schnellin' in the west. Them city folk aren't always as hardy as these country bumpkins, but we're more likely to find men with fighting experience stopping the rest there. Okay. What have we got here? We've got Widowkind, who is a fisherman used to physical labour. Widowkind loved the sea and the serenity. As long as there was no storm, he was out there fishing. Eh, he sounds alright. Gustav the Calm. Monks tend to have a high resolve in what they do, but are not used to... Hmm. A monk? Peddlers do not use hard hacking. Vagabonds are used to long waters, but don't excel in... How come you're going suit? As annoyance... The most Albrick is a mere peddler. He used to make a decent living selling used carts. Hmm. I think we'll go for the fisherman. You know what? I'm gonna take the monk. The hell with <laughs> I think that's funny. Good stuff and widow kind. Okay. Marketplace. I'm gonna need some food. Let's just get five bunches of food. Let's get tools and supplies. Let's get some ammunition. And let's leave that there just now. Okay, let's check out the party. So we have a knife. Can you not take the axe? You can indeed. We don't really want a knife, though, do we? You have nothing. So Gustav 
needs a weapon. I think we might want another archer though, right? So maybe we should get... Oh. Can we get a bow? We can. We can get a throwing net. We can get a bow. Militia spear. Let's get a bow. And let us get just a little bit more ammo. And some more bandages. There we go. Let's leave. Okay. Our party is not in the best shape, let's be fair. Let us give Gustav the Calm a bow. And we need some ammo, actually, don't we? Oops. It's been a while since I've played this. Sorry, folks. I'm trying to remember. Quiver of Arrows. Okay, leave. Okay, Gustav. Right. So we want... I'm not sure this is exactly how it works. Been a while, though. Okay. I don't think we've got anyone leveled up. So it's been suggested that we go to the city in the west, which we will. Such a lovely game, this, though, isn't it? Very Germanic. It's a good map we've got. I never really knew. Oh, along the way. A Schnellen strikes appear high on the horizon. Wendell seeks a word of you. Never been to Schnellen before, but I've been around ones that look a lot like it. Cities like these are great for selling goods, as all these prissy, pompous pricks love to have their goods delivered. With so many merchants, you can't find almost anything you want. You can find almost anything you want. Keep an eye out for bargains and don't get swindled by them cutthroat merchant. Bertrand seems to add his opinion of what you should do. If there's a good tavern, I say... Tavern? Tavern. I say that this we should go first. Nothing helps a man down. He's lacked more than a good pint. Good gods know we earned it. You say that every time we stop into town. You say that even that when you're already drunk. I've got a drunk. I think he is a drunk, actually. Who am I, though? I, I'm a little bit confused. I need to work out. I, I think I'm this guy. I think I'm Berthold. I need another fighter, that's for sure. Okay, let's check you out. Oh, wow. You're pretty good. Okay, so we have a farmhand. I have a gambler, butcher, and a gambler. So we can't afford much. I'm thinking maybe a farmhand. Rolo looks a bit old though. Farmer hates to see his land fertilized in blood. You know what? Let's just go for a gambler because I have a feeling we'll lose them. Okay, he had nothing. I think we need another line fighter. So let's check out the weapons. Oh man, I'd love a hooked blade or something along those lines. Let's get a cheeky spear for him, shall we? And let's maybe get a hat as well. Okay, so we've got a little bit of money. I already have a contract. I do indeed. So we have another line fighter. You're going to be... There and let us. Well, you're supposed to be in the line, so I suppose let's give you a helmet. Well, I say helmet. Okay. Ambush trade routes. Not so good. Turn to Casper the Steward in sun time. Okay, let's go back. Let's go a bit faster. Let's make our move here. Casper the steward is packing, packing, pacing back and forth when you find him. The healer who damn near killed you with the fire poker standing nearby, spicking chunks of dry blood out his fingers near Casper the steward clasped his hand. Finally you're here, I have good news. We got hold of one of Hoggart's former men. My good friend here had a nice little talk with the man and now I know where Hoggart's licking his wounds. The healer clears his throat, splaying his fingers out like a maiden, looking to paint them. He speaks as though he's identifying a disease he's about to excise. 
The brigand known as Hoggart is hiding in a small hut on the plains to the southwest of here. Based upon my most civil discussion with one of his men, Hoggart knows the long axes is on his heels and we've gathered more men since the last time you met him. Nodding, Casper the steward waves you off. Good luck, Sailsword. Put a little bit of a bugger on you. Do you know what? I'm going to buy another really cheap guy and I'm going to sacrifice him. Pretty much. I'm not quite sacrifice him. I'm hoping I can get another bow. So southwest, we are after Hoggart. I'm not after the first snailing company. That is the southwest. I don't know about this. Just to the. Am I being insane? Southwest. Ah, there we go. Get 400 crowns. We're okay for food, tools. Let's camp until morning. There we go. It's time for revenge. In fact, my character. I can't be this guy. I don't know who I am. A few brigand thugs and a brigand poacher. Engage! Okay. So this is my cowardly little dude who's just going to stay back and defend. We're not going to move too far. Okay, come forward. Can't throw a net yet, that's fine. Can't quite either, it's also fine. Come a bit closer. So he's on a raised platform actually, so he's going to be able to hit me. Okay, shield wall, you wait there. Okay, it's my cowardly little guy. Let's get him round though, we can fool them. Okay, stab him. Body's hit for one damage, it's not bad. Stay back a little bit. Okay. You go for him. Ah, oh, nightmare. Come on, hit him. Ah, bugger. Okay, let's go take him out, Bertwin. Oh, you missed. Okay, shoot him. Nice. And he's wavering. Good shot. He didn't do so well against me. He's got some decent armour. That's Hoggart. Ah, I don't care about him at all. Okay. Stab him. Oh, he didn't do much there, did he? He's still not doing much either. Stab him. Stab him again. Take him out. Okay, reload. You're not going to get another shot, unfortunately. Oh, you're going to go down, I think, fisherman. Oh, he missed. Nice. Can you get there? Don't care about this guy at all, this is my sacrifice. Okay, we need to heart Hoggart more. Nice! Pierced his cheek. Okay, I tell you what, you... Oh, you bastard. Okay, take him out. Boom! Ah, oh, beheaded him! Amazing. 
Okay, get in there. Stab him. Ah, bugger. Ah, no, here he goes. He's down. Oh, you missed. How did you miss? Take him down. Really? God, you're useless. Stab him. Stab him. Okay, he's gone. You need to get around there. Ah, no. Don't care about you, honestly. Another stab. Take him down. Hoggart needs to get out. Oh, we don't want to lose him. Okay, he's down. Oh, thank God. Nice! Hoggar is now down. I keep thinking Hoggar. Is it Hogger? From a. Uh, World of Warcraft. Boom. Okay. You are now out of the picture, my friends. No need to run away anymore. Okay, shoot him if you can. How many do I need? Uh, nice! What a shot! Okay, unfortunately, we the kind died for his sins. We got a whole bunch of stuff. Nothing that looks too tremendous. I'm relatively pleased with that. Hoggart lies dead in a pool of his own blood, skewered into a grotesque and panic post. He doesn't weasel his way out of this one. You put a boot on his corpse and look to your men. For the company, for all the men who've fallen. Wendell spits on the dead's face, dead man's face. Let's take this bastard's head and get him back to some time. So I'm the old crossbowman, I think. That's alright. It's probably good for me. So I'm Wendell. Pretty sure. Okay, so we got a level up. I'd like to make Bertwin better. So let's let's get his half up. Let us get his melee skill up. Let's get his melee defense up as well. And he has a perk. Adapt to your opponent, gain it in crippling strikes. Colossus. Yeah, let's make him a Colossus. And is there any better axes for you here? Don't think so. Okay, shall we get you a better shield? Indeed. What about this hatchet? Okay, my little cowardly man. Let's give you a bludgeon. And a shield. Short bow. All fine, all fine. So we're going to sell all this rubbish. What have we got here? Dry fruits, mushrooms, salt. Oh, yeah, we can sell the salt. Okay, let's go to Suddenheim. Wendell joins your side. Got a moment, Cap'n? You nod for him to speak his mind. The battle has left some gear worse for wear and some men got a good nick in too. We can patch up both men and equipment while marching, but it's a lot faster to sit down and do it. Of course, if we meet camp, we should be very wary of ambushes. A campfire in these parts can be seen from every which way. I'll keep that in mind. We will make a camp, but let's get onto the road first. So I'm not... I'm still not sure who I am. I, I think... I think I'm Berthold. I've forgotten how to be able to tell, so if somebody could tell me, that'd be great. Okay, let's camp. Let's just camp until the next day. It's great music as well in this. I'm love. I absolutely love the graphical. I'm not normally into turn-based games at all, 
but I actually really enjoy the combat in this. I think it's really hard hitting. It really feel I really feel it when my players die. I mean, we've lost Widow kind okay. I wasn't particularly affected by him, but a return to soon time. The company returns to soon time as victors. Their head held high is much higher than this time. Their heads held much higher this time. The long axes are not the size that they once were, but they're still a force to be reckoned with, as Hoggart learned in his final moments. You carry his head in a sack that you empty in front of Caspar the steward. He jumps back, but the healer quickly picks up the head, stares at it and nods. Caspar the steward approaches the brigand's bloodied face and eyes it carefully. Yes, yes, that is ugly mug, all right. Servants, pay this man his money. Coin in hand, you raise your voice to the main. As long as there is blood coursing through our veins, as long as we hold, we can hold sword and shield. There start. Yeah, let me start that again. As long as there is blood coursing through our veins, as long as we can hold sword and shield, there shall stand our company. All through the realm, people will know the long axes. The men cheer. Berto puts his hand on your shoulder. You did well, Captain. No matter where you lead us, the men will follow you as brothers in battle. Fantastic. Okay, let us sell. A little stuff. We don't have too much here. Okay, let's leave. Is there another contract to be picked up here? I don't think there is. Do we want anyone else? No, we don't want. Okay, let us make our way. Now, I do like to role please these somewhat, so apologies if that's not your cup of tea, but hopefully the people who are watching are enjoying this. I'm going to make these episodes, it'll be a weekly release, maybe a couple more to begin with, but it'll go to weekly. I'm looking forward to, can we actually, we can, so please feel free to name who you think I should. I, relatively sensible names is what I'm aiming for. Erwin of Schnellen angrily shakes his head. Brigands have been tearing up these parts far too long. I sent a lad, Hilfric's son, to go find him. And you know what? Only his head came back. Of course the idiot brigands sent one of their own to deliver it. We captured and interrogated him, so now we know where they're at. This man leads back, peddling his thumbs for one another and thought. I do not have the men, but I do have the crowns. What say I slip some your way, and you slip a sword theirs? He gesticulates, gesticulates with his hands, pointing at his fingers and counting something, but it means nothing to you. You know what, we'll just accept these payments. 90 crowns in advance and 350 when the job's done. We'll start asking for more once we've got more for reputation. Okay, I think we will actually do this in this episode. Let's just see what we can do. Let's get another sacrificial lamb. It is un the unfortunate truth. Having an extra dude to be sacrificed is not a bad thing. He has nothing though. Oh, that's a pain. I should have kept something for him. Let us get him. He can just have a pitch fork. He's a farmer anyway. He knows how to use it. Okay, let's do this. We are the long axis. Okay, to the southeast of Schnellen. Where are they? Ah, over there. Oh, well, that's a long, long way. As the company takes a break, you decide to address the men. Brothers, I want everyone to know the long axes are not just cutthroats and errand boys. As skilled fighters of the First Order, word of our deeds must spread so that merchants and noblemen are begging us to take their contracts. What do you tell the men of the company? What will I tell them? We need allies, forging a bond of friendship and trust with one of the towns. We shall get the company back to strength. That's what we will do. And that is some distance we're going to have to go. Okay. I think we will call it there because that's a little bit too long to travel just in one go. What I'll do is for the next episode is we'll just start in the battle or the next action. So guys, please let me know what you're thinking. Please let me know. I'd like some lore suggestions. 
what we're going to play in. I have selected an end game of this. Oh, a whistling man ambles down the road. A cheery dog huffing at his side with its tongue a lol. Seeing your troop, he stabs his walking stick in the dirt and tents his hands atop it. Some small talk is made of the weather. He asks if maybe he could dodge the rain in the company of sellswords. A strange request, but one usually made to men who earn blood bunny. Yeah, join us. You sit about the fire. Much talk is made about this or that, but the traveller does speak some words which reside within your mind long before he's gone. Long after he's gone. I find myself nearing the top of a mountain a few months ago. Highest I've ever been. Travelled there in company of an expedition. Some man smarter than I reckon it might be worthwhile, so he could point his big glasses to the skies. Anyway, I looked down at the land and could see what had been done to it. Cities and towns and roads, little moles of gritty patchwork, wagons scuttling like ants, cellins, what could be pilfered from this man or this animal or this land. Holes in the forest where trees used to be. Man is he's talking about. Yes, I understand, my friend. Global warming is what you're getting at, right? Yes, so I'm looking for lore suggestions. I'm looking for name suggestions. I'm looking for trajectory as well. I don't know where we should take this campaign. How do we do it? As I say, I've picked an end game, and there will be a scourge coming for us. So we need to get strong before then. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. The Battle Brothers will be back. The Long, Ar Long Axes shall remain, and we will conquer. I'll see you for the next one.